And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Monday. We're going to have some fun donation decks today. We're also going to be having a meme tier Tuesday tomorrow or meme tier Monday Tuesday edition because I have a lot of meme tier donation decks to get to. So let's ha let's go ahead and play those and let's have a lot of fun. This one's going to be They That Wanders. That's going to be our first deck. Um, so we're playing Shadow Isles and Freljord together because we're playing these uh, large things. I don't know exactly what these these things are called. Um, just this kind of, um, you know, uh, animal creature. But we have they have, we have the ones that kind of look the same. They who endure, it that stares. There's probably some name for these kind of things. And she who wanders. So we're just playing a deck with all of them put together. They're they are enormous. You know, look at like these you know size comparison here. So we're kind of putting those together. They who endure, it that stares, she who wanders. Um so just, you know, this is a meme tier day. That's what we're doing. We're putting them all together. We're gonna have atrocity with them. Um let's see, we got Babbling Bjorgen here that can draw it that stares or she who wanders. It that stares, of course, we can either destroy obliterate all landmarks. Or do two to all the other units, and we're going to combine that with Avalanche to help slow our opponents down and get us to that top end. Um, they who endure will be in here with all of our units dying. We're going to have like Avaros and Trapper. Uh, they can make an Enraged Yeti for us, and then we can Stalking Shadows and grab the Enraged Yeti so we can get multiple Enraged Yetis with that. That's a cool little combo we can do. Um, you know, we just have basically some early blockers. Elise can make multiple bodies um, for us for multiple things dying for they who endure. Uh, kind of the same with Trundle, I guess. You know, we get that Ice Pillar in here also. Um, you know, this is, this looks like a pretty good meme tier deck. It should be fun. We're going to, you know, be trying to throw down uh, these three. So we're playing They That Wanders. <laughs> you know, kind of combining all three of the names. All right, let's, let's give it a try. We're just playing over in Normal today because it's meme tier day. And let's go have some fun. All right, prediction time. Starting prediction now. So we're playing against Tom Kench Soraka. We're going to mulligan the, the Tavern Keeper and the They Who Endure. We, we have nine of these kind of cards. We don't really need to start with one in hand, plus our Babbling Bjerg is going to draw one. There we go. We'll get the She Who Wanders. I don't know if Avalanche is going to be too good in this matchup. Okay, that's something that will die to Avalanche. That's cool. That's cool. But we have our combo set up with Trapper, Stalking Shadows. That's always a good combo. Because we can go Trapper, put the Enraged Yeti on top, and then go ahead and draw that Enraged Yeti. We can get a couple of 5 fives. Okay, so the three of them, thank you, Kordak. So the three of them are part of a group of behemoths called Bale Striders. That's why you're Bailey, because you're a Bale Strider. Okay, so that's that's a good thing to learn. I didn't know that. Hey, Rad. You predict a chat win because we get to watch some fun games. Love it. I mean, if that stairs can't obliterate all landmarks, which would be, could be cool, but I also have the Babbling Bureau that can draw into it. So let's go ahead and take our Enraged Yetis. And so I like doing that before we draw our card for turn, right? Because I don't really want to necessarily draw the Enraged Yeti for turn because then I wouldn't have the Stalking Shadows to, to grab it and to copy. I must inspire where once I shepherded. Right, that's my job. Shepherding, I mean. It's possible we could kill Soraka, you know, with Avalanche plus Enraged Yeti. Possible. They'd have to have a like, guiding touch to save Soraka. By starlight. Live with purpose. Tread carefully. Oh, 
I'm trying to kill Soraka. Let it happen. Killing Soraka is very important. No, they had Guiding Touch. That was the one card they could have. That's too bad. That's too bad. Yeah, it's... This is looking pretty bad for us now. King of Trolls coming through. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Soraka is... Soraka is a really good champion. Makes combat super difficult. And just combine it with Star Spring. And here you go. We're all family here. Take heart. So maybe in two more turns we can have the card that obliterates landmarks, but that I don't know if we can have two more turns of us survive in. Gives me a good blocker. Soraka just had one too too many health, right? Like I had a five five, but it was a one six, and you know I could block, you know, so I couldn't quite kill it. And then tried the avalanche, but they had the guiding touch. Stars fall. Take forever, why don't you? Bring the flipping bell. <laughs> Start the round! Should have stayed home, pal. Live with purpose. Take heart. You know, we don't want to damage Soraka anymore now. <clears throat> I tried the one time. No. Not the eight mana card that obliterates landmark. Needed that. There it is. Okay. You can see the Nebastian border from here. The Star Child. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. I pull the strings. Okay, so we definitely need to play this at that stairs and obliterate the landmark to keep this landmark from killing us because it's already at 15. I don't think I'm going to have the ability to play Ice Pillar first, but maybe. I mean, I guess I could maybe play Ice Pillar first. They would definitely be able to kill the Ice Pillar if they would if they choose to with the Star Shepherd. Has been Let his knee out! Ah, I told your ancestors to protect! Yeah, I don't... I don't know if I do. So Ice Pillar levels up Trundle. And then they just kill it. I'm just going to wait a turn for Ice Pillar. So there's six targets for Babbling Beer in our deck. Three She Who Wanders, three It That Stares. So, so far we've drawn two She Who Wanders and one It That Stairs. So if we play Babbling Beard, we have a two out of three chance of drawing another It That Stairs. So if they have another landmark, we can do that, go look for another It That Stairs. Which they do. Bring the flipping bell! Woo, you wee scruff! Perfectly fine with those trading. Because I assume that they who endures 
still counts as a 1-1 one -one inside of the deck. I don't believe that Babbling Beard would draw it. But I think it still counts as a 1-1. One -one. So I think it's, it's just a 1-1 one -one that whenever you, whenever it's summoned, it gets the bonus. It doesn't have the bonus in hand or in deck. So it should just be a 1-1. One -one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, y'all are saying it's a 1-1 one -one in the deck. Yeah, I figure that's what it should be. For the homestead. Smashing. So Trundle attacks is a 9-7. This is gonna be fun. You pay first. I'm not I'm just not really that worried about Star Shepherd, right? Like they don't give it they're not gonna give it overwhelm or anything. I don't like need to kill it. I do need to kill my Avarosen sentry though, because when when we play She Who Wanders, we'll ob obliterate uh cards and that would obliterate the Avarosen sentry in it, so I want it to die first. Could almost kill them with atrocity, almost. The star child. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. Yeah, control chant avalanche. I don't know if that's really worth it. I don't. I don't really think it is. I'll just give them more healing for the, the Star Spring. Their deck has like, there's no way that that would actually kill the Star Shepherd, right? Like their deck has a million cards that. Like their whole hand, like they're they're just play whatever and and save it. It's not like it would actually kill it. I don't I don't really see the point there, except for just dealing more damage to more of their things and helping out their star spring. Be at peace. Yeah, that's true. I could have played the Bjerg first before attacking and drawn that at that stairs, and then Trundle would have been a ten six. Would have got an additional plus one. That's true. So it's going to be a 37-6. Or 39, but yeah, you know, whatever. I don't think that they're gonna win the game this turn with the Star Spring, so I think I can I think I can wait a turn before it that stairs. It's nine out of twenty-two, because if this works and gets rid of these things, maybe get rid of like three or four cards in hand from them. I'm guessing three or four. Yep, three. The middle three. Got rid of a two Krusty Codgers and a Star Shepherd. Only provides temporary sustenance, child. All right, that's another landmark for us to obliterate. Appetizers of plenty. <laughs> 15 6 trundle but we're gonna try to i think we're gonna just be trying to attack an atrocity and trying to do 20 damage to them um assuming you know maybe assume like i guess they've played one guiding touch so far but maybe assuming they have another one so they're at like 19 um yeah so i'm gonna try to do like 19 or 20 damage you know maybe atrocity like a, the 10 10 and have like that plus trundle so overwhelm perfect. Oh, right, hush. I feel better when you feel better. Take heart. Well, just take eighteen. Sounds good. Another nibble. We got our behemoths. 
That's also another fun word to say. Behemoth. Alright, so I like my chance here of Atrocity, the She Who Wanders. We've determined that uh, Potato is a fun word to say. We determined that the other day. Now Behemoth. Maybe it's the three-syllable thing. Potato. Behemoth. I will find the goodness in you, River King. Who only provides temporary sustenance, child? Take a behemoth to the face? Nobody can survive that. Yeah, he can't survive a behemoth to the face. And a GG. You can't take this crown. All right, Zoe Karma. We will start this prediction for those of y'all here in Twitch. Avalanche could be good against Zoe. It's not really going to be good against Karma, but it could be good against Zoe. I think I'll just keep one because of that. If they have like a fast Zoe start, I'm probably going to want to Avalanche. Get him, Bailey. Bailey the Behemoth. There's nothing to fear. The Dancing Behemoth. Taking it all. I guess I avalanche right now and just take out their two one twos, I guess. Bask in her radiant blessing. Hmm. So I'm planning, you know, like Bjerg on four, Trundle on five. Something else that we draw on six. Oh, yeah, I, I put the record as 0-1. Sorry, typo. We we definitely won that game. We are 1-0. and oh. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Behemoths. That's pretty cool. Aw, oh, the baby not happy. Look out there! I don't know, I guess I could probably play Trundle first. Believe or burn. Alright, second spider died. To grow they who endure. Triple Solari Priestess. That's a good start. Sunlight guiding my so we know they have three awesome Celestial cards in hand. First of the awesome Celestial cards. So that can challenge Trundle. I can glimpse beyond the Trundle. What are you going to be? A 4-4. Four four. Not the biggest. Um, yeah, I'll just pass. Okay. That's fine with me. Um... All right, we'll set a trap. Look for another 5-5. Five five. They're out there. I'll spot them. All right, so they're going to have either a big Karma or a big Zoe. Come 
I'm not really looking forward to either of those options. Um. Course we want just things to die for they who enter. These things would get obliterated by she who wanders anyway. Die for me. Believe or burn. Alert the villains. Have faith. So young. Okay, so they use the Obliterate card already, so they're not going to be able to obliterate my She Who Wanders, so that's kind of cool. They Who Wanders is now a 7-7, seven, seven, with that stuff dying. No blocks. We can go with the Ice Pillar first. I guess I just do play this and deal two to everything. It would kill two of their blockers. Gives me a pretty decent open attack. I can I can also still just play, you know, like Enraged Yeti into like They Who Endure before attacking. The only thing that playing something before attacking would be bad against is like Concussive Palm. Yeah, maybe I just attack. We know they're going to have a good amount of spells. Back heretic. Like they're definitely a very spell heavy deck. Playing Deep Meditation, everything, like this Targon Ionia. Yeah, so they have that. So they're down to three. Want to see if maybe we can get this in under, you know, under like a deny. See if they, you know, maybe they spend five mana on Karma. We know that they drew one of their champions that costs one less and is bigger. We can also assume that that's not Zoe because they haven't been playing Zoe at all. Because I, I think they do have denies. We'll See if there's there's the karma. Whatever the cost. Peace begins within. Even at war, you remain so calm. Would panicking help, brother? Try to get rid of blockers. All right, got rid of a deny from their hand. Reconsider. That's definitely good. One deny down. That is 10 cards. So if they want to take their draw step, they're gonna have to play something else. Now, remember they are gonna get their draggling beginning of the turn. What is gained when we return malevolence? 
This is kind of a nombo, right? Because she who wanders, if I play that, it will just obliterate my they who endures. So I guess we need to play the they who endures first. very well be a hush. I think this is still my best play, but could very well be a hush at the, you know, like we won't give them any of these, these three twos. Okay, no hush. Awesome. There we go, 2-0. Oh. Playing some scouts now. So we're just going to mulligan the top end against the scouts. It that stairs, though, does seem kind of important with the deal 2 damage to everything, but I don't have any ramp for it. So it's not going to be here for a while. Let's just mulligan all of these and try to curve out with units a little bit better. That doesn't really help us as far as curving out with units. At least does, though. Full chance, not bad. I know what lurks in the shadows. Skitter out from the darkness. Draw on our top end. Nothing escaped. Wow, no misfortune? No Grand Plaza? Man, I don't remember playing against scouts and them not having misfortune. I don't remember that ever happening. Here we go. Yeah, like when when does that ever happen? <laughs> Our hands filled with behemoths. Quite literally. keep this Elise alive. Even though it dying isn't that bad for me with these They Who Endures. But I'd still rather have it in play and maybe have the opportunity to create another Spiderling. I'd still rather have that. No, they did have Misfortune. I'm gonna show you the sights of Bill's water. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Still heart, steady aim. So many behemoths. Come on, really? I just want to draw something to play this turn. Alright, so we've had four things die this game.
don't think that's a very good Relentless Pursuit. Now, we don't know their hand. They can certainly have more Relentless Pursuits. But I think that they should probably be using that on my turn so they get two attacks for the Misfortune and the Quinn instead of just the one attack. Um, I think they're still going to win. I don't think it really matters because this hand was pretty bad. I didn't. You know, I had multiple turns there where I couldn't play, you know, what was it? So turn turn four, turn five, and turn six, all I played was one right, one Avarosen Sentry oh, combined on turn four, turn five, and turn six. And that's obviously not going to do it against Scouts. Okay, another aggro deck. Hopefully we don't just only draw behemoths. Let's draw other stuff first. Okay, other stuff. I'm just going to keep. None of these are a behemoth, so I'll keep it. <laughs> All these cost two or three mana. This looks a lot better. Now we can still get ran over. These old eyes still see far. All right, this is better. Uh, we don't we don't have any ramp in the game. We did, or in this deck, so we're not going to play thing. You know, like yes, yeah, so there's there's no ramp in this deck, but we did. She who wanders has been good for us. It has helped us win both of our both of our first two games. It really helped us win, but I didn't ramp into it. Ready the torches. Which does mean I'm probably not getting an two five fives because we're probably drawing the five five either this turn or the next turn. Yeah, so we're drawing the five five right there. So basically playing that Stalking Shadows right now to kind of use a little bit of mana. I was born in Save the two mana. By war. Two for Troll Chant. Because I didn't want to just play Babbling Bjerg this turn. Because um, even even with Troll Chant, Babbling Bjerg is not as good of a blocker with Troll Chant. Because they can kind of, I don't know, I want to get the 5-5 five five in play. No turning back now. Intoxicated Lifted. Yeah, we got these decks here. This one is a They Who Endure. This is just a Behemoth deck. They Who Endure, It That Stares, She Who Wanders, all together. And then we're going to be playing Legion Marauder with um, the the um, uh, Improbulator card and, and like the, the two mana card, the new two mana card that, that copies. And then also Tribeam Improbulator. That's that deck. And then Ballistic Bot and Sejuani. The, the Ballistic Bot Sejuani deck has a bunch of different combos in it. Over there. And then an Out of the Way deck with Riven. So we can have Out of the Way with the Reforges. It's kind of weird they put the Weapon Hilt on the Riven and then didn't end up attacking with the Riven. A little odd. Iterative improvement. There you go. Yeah. So iterative improvement with Legion Marauder and Tribeam and Propulator all together. They are an aggro deck, so maybe healing my Nexus 3 should be the thing I should be doing. I'm just going to just keep drawing more behemoths, get more behemoths out of my deck.
who serve the greater good. The greater good. Just yeah, just sticking with card games right now, Pine Peace. I'm not too familiar with the others. I've I've just always kind of played card games myself. This is uh, kind of my thing. Basically, just kind of doing this work, tr trying to combine that and it that stairs to kill stuff together. I know my purpose. Maybe we should have drawn, drawn kindly tavern keeper. Hey, there's there's tavern keeper. I don't think I can pass, right? Like I can't really pass and hope that they play other stuff and then it goes back to me and I do that. Um. You will not break me. All right, these decimates are a problem. Finally, peace. I probably need to atrocity kill this Captain Farron with that. I would say four life. Yeah, probably gonna have to save that four life. GG's. Welcome to the tipsy up. Captain Farron's still great. Can't stop decimate. Okay, another aggressive Riven deck. Hopefully they don't have Captain Farron, because we were doing just fine until that Captain Farron showed up. Let's mulligan the behemoths away. We'll draw them later. So, so yeah, there's there's Harvey lying on her back. That's how she likes to lay down. She's a little big for that bed, but she loves to lay like that and get belly rubs. And then the other dog, Popper, is right there in her bed against the pillow. At least time. I know what lurks in the shadows. I think I'm just gonna attack right away because I can play Avaros and Trapper, but then they play Riven, and then I don't have any good attacks. We'll just attack right now and get the Spiderling. When will yep. I find peace? The trap is set. I write the rules of power. If I don't get to double spell. Let's just play. The Enraged Yeti. I mean, I guess I can double spell with like Enraged Yeti, Stock, and Shadow. I mean, I don't get double spell over here. Maybe they won't kill Elise or the Spiderling, and then we can Crawling Sensation and make two more Spiderlings. I mean, 
Alright, we'll just play other Elise. Come closer. I don't bite. <laughs> Weird camera. I show the the puppy dogs. Alright, we'll go back to me. Come on in. Rude. I threw away. Mm. Oh no, let me cast this. They're just gonna attack with everything. Like one thing, you know, they kill one thing with the ribbon. But we are a they to endure deck. And also, you know, getting more damage on the ribbon's good for the it that stairs. Ignorant brawl. Yeah, this is fine. I lose two things, because right, the, the spiderling just replaced itself. So I lose two things, they lose one thing, and also Diana and Riven take damage, and we del dealt six damage to them. So that seems fine. No turning back now! Nothing escapes my watch. The cost of war. Ready the torches. So I'm going to go down to 11. Light the signal fires. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Nothing a little steel can see. Where are you at? You're a 6-6? Six, six? We've already seen them play the... The spider, the 3 2 that stuns. Meet destiny. Could have played Trundle first, but deciding just to go with the immediate attack. It must be done. No looking back. My hope is that they play something before attacking, and I will be able to play it that stairs. That will maybe kill this Riven. The hope. These hands no and magic. He's gonna keep the two spell mana for the troll chant. Dusk approaches. Okay, play another unit. Come on, play another unit. That's the problem. Her kingdom. For the lost. I've got meat bigger than you. I got a six. Do that, we go to ten. Right, Trundle's not gonna level up now. To serve the greater good. Well, my plan worked of like maybe they play another unit. So that plan worked. But then, yeah, the Trundle doesn't level up. I failed. 
That's still probably just fine. Alright, so I can open attack and have my Ice Pillar challenge the Diana, and then so both of these are lethal attackers. Um, or I could, you know, I can play an 11 11, they who enter first, which may be the thing to do. I could also just play another at that stairs and deal two damage again. No, I guess. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So basically, I decided against the 8 mana 8-8 eight eight that deal 2 damage, because dealing damage to the, you know, like killing, even though we could kill the Diana and take out a blocker, we already kind of took out that blocker by having the Ice Pillar be able to challenge it, because, you know, if they played something else, then the Ice Pillar wouldn't be able to challenge that. So that that didn't seem like that was the right play. So then I went on to just either, either attack or play They Who Endure, and, um, you know, we've already seen, like, that Hush kind of card. They could have, you know, they, they could definitely be playing, like, regular Hush. Or that other silence card. Um, so by playing the they who endure, they could have like the the three two stun my you know play that stun the eight eight, and then also have like a hush kind of card for the they who endure. And I'd, so I kind of determined that, that wasn't really necessary, and so we just went to attacks. So there we go. That's our deck. They that wanders, combining all of these behemoths together. That was pretty fun playing all those behemoths. It's not, you know, like this obviously isn't going to be a top tier deck or anything like that, but that's what meme tier Monday is about, putting together some fun stuff. The atrocities, of course, worked really well with them. And we played some pretty good defense, you know, with the sentry and trapper and everything. And even Elise did pretty well. We frequently got multiple spiders in play thanks to Elise. So even Elise played its part being that other champion. Um... Yeah, it worked, it worked out pretty well. And so we ended up going three and two. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. What what kind of decks do you want to see on Meme Tier Monday? What kind of ideas do you have that you can play? Um, you know, the decks that you want me to play of um, decks that are kind of on the outskirts and just some kind of cool card combinations like They Who Endure, It That Stairs, and She Who Wanders all together. Let me know. Leave those comments over there on YouTube. All right, but that's all I got here for the day that wanders. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.